Good day, my lovely people. Welcome here again to my channel, Eleanor's Chronicles. And of course, my name is Eleanor. My lovely people, saying geni le natises figi le parati inside. We did finally receive the Google AdSense pin. Um, we have been waiting for it for about six weeks now, and it just arrived now Friday. So I thought since now I have this AdSense pin, it's about time. It's a good time uh, for me to do this monetization update video so that you can see my journey, where I started, where I am today, and um, what it took for me to get here. Okay, my lovely people, let's see. Where do we start? I started my YouTube uh, Jenny in the year uh, September 2021 and then I did not really know what I was going to talk about then I made my research that is when I started binge watching uh, YouTube that is where I got to learn about um the devotee channel i started to learn about oami i started to learn about tandem Leje. back then it was those and there was this other one it was a guy he was very loud i wonder who he was I, I used to remember his name i forgot it for now he was loud and he was he was rude but I loved him. I loved him. I, I watched his content as well. But I wanted to do um, spirituality content, you know. But then inking uh, on the spiritual content was that I was going to have to give personal testimonies in order for the topics that I'll be speaking about to make sense. And that made me uncomfortable. That made me uncomfortable. I think I tried two videos and I was like, nah, uh-uh. You know, because every time when I did them, it felt like, nah, TMI, TMI. You know, much as I do story times here and I give personal accounts, uh, but then at least I'm able to shed and keep out the the parts that I don't want uh, the public to have uh, knowledge of out, you know. Whereas when you're on the spirituality content, it for me, for me, I see a lot of people are just, just, you know, doing it for the sake of doing it. For me, it was either I was going to be all in, or I was not going to do it at all. Because as much as I do the story times, I try to be, I try to make them, um, I try to be as authentic as possible, even though I keep the information that is controversial out, you know? That's basically what I mean, and that is what kept me away from, uh, spiritual content then I decided precisely because of devotee there's something that in devotee said one day you know um, that kind of landed with me uh, because I was never gonna do gossip because I did not understand for me gossip was like one thing that I did not understand is why exactly are people so addicted to uh, people who are vile to other people? And that's all I was seeing with Gossip Channel. I thought it's people being vile to other people until I came across Devotee's um, channel. And precisely because of Devotee, I decided to then go with... Um, I decided to go with Gossip Channel, you know, after she gave um, a story time of why she chose 
uh, gossip channel and how it was working out for her. Let's quickly look at how I progressed since then. Um, to tell you the honest truth, my progression was a very slow one. Um, as you can see there, uh, in by the end of 2022, I was still under 300 uh, subscribers. Most of the subscribers that I got um, actually stemmed from my 2023. In 2023, I saw a surge of subscribers like by May, May or April, I think it was April, that is when I got to be on uh, 1000 subscribers. From 2021, doing the same thing that I'm doing now, um, only then did I manage to get to 1000 subscribers. Let me add that this was not an easy journey for me because um, unlike many YouTubers who says that they started their YouTube channels because it was their passion and it's a hobby, they're doing it for fun and all of those. Me, I did it, I, I did it for survival. I did it for survival. My job has just ended and all doors has closed and everything that I was trying was not working out. So um, I was at the end of my tether. I did not know what else to do. And um, this sounded like the only logical choice that um, I can try and resolve my situation through so uh now i have 1000 subscribers uh but then i'm still far from being monetized so i'm still far from the solution that i'm after so i am seated there it's um around april 2023 and i'm like what the hell what am i gonna do with this situation and as you can see with that graph there you know, subscribers are still coming around. Uh, some are, are leaving because that's what subscribers do. Eh? You can gain three subscribers today and uh, 10 can unsubscribe tomorrow. That's the name of the game. Uh, hence, you see the graph uh, will drop just below zero from time to time whenever it drops below zero you must know that um that's how many people have subscribed from your channel because most of the time uh it won't tell you that straight up that two unsubscribe unlike when it tells you that two subscribed you see uh, so now I'm seated there and I'm asking myself, okay, what am I going to do to make um, the watch time, get the watch time? Because my watch time was still very low. It was below 2000. I think my watch time was somewhere around uh, 1006 or something. It was ridiculously low, even though uh, I now had the 1000 subscribers. I was even thinking of going out and telling people to watch my channel, like physically go get 4,000 people to give me one hour each and uh, just see exactly if that will work. I will even sit down and calculate exactly how many people uh, it will take for me to get to 4,000 if I get... Uh, like this many people per month to give me this many minutes, you know, because I thought, you know, I was thinking the sales route, the the filled sales way of getting that watch time, you know, because I was really looking for a solution. All right. Um, but then... The more I was thinking about it, the more it, it's ridiculous. Then one day, I I check my um, 
I'm busy. I'm uploading my content. As I'm uploading my my content, I see that there's a surge in a ridiculous surge, a ridiculous surge in viewership. And I'm like, what the hell? And I think then it was uh, just going to turn into August. It was early August, late July, early August. I'm willing to say it's early August. There's a huge surge in uh viewership and i don't know what the hell the spike is about you know then um as i'm still amazed and intrigued as to why are these people flogging in all of a sudden then one day as i'm seated and i'm watching uh binge watching youtube ch channels as i'm doing my own videos you know, I was binge watching um, the Vault, <laughs> the Vault channel, the Dazzling Diamond. And as I'm busy going through her videos, I come across this video and she says, uh, my lovely people, uh, please go over there, check my neighbor, Eleanor. She has very nice content and whatever not, she's nice. And, and I'm like, I'm like, which Eleanor? <laughs> I was like, which Eleanor? This Eleanor. Then next thing I then noticed, I think, no, it was not that day. Around two days later or three days later, she puts it on her community messages that uh, people let's support uh, our neighbor Eleanor she's a diamond she's great she's that and I'm like this lady is serious you know it I remember I shed a tear believe you me tears just started flowing because why tears flowed my lovely people I could not understand what uh, Lynn Dyke saw in me because when I looked at her she's this vibrant lady uh, with uh, eyebrows on flick makeup top notch with you know uh, weave straight up and fashion on check so I'm thinking that she will talk about people along her own uh i don't know how how to say it i will i'm thinking that she, maybe she might talk to people like naledi for example you know then i was like i really don't know what this lady saw in me but whatever it is i'm not about to look the gift horse in the mouth thank you god thank you then i got to notice from then on that actually there was nothing um really special about me but there was everything special about her because i was not the only person she was doing that for then i got to understand that from time to time, she helps out small, small YouTube channels like I will say underdogs for the lack of um, better term. She will help them with different things that she seems that she thinks she, you need. For example, with me, she helped me with my uh, with my watch time. No diggity, no doubt, my lovely people. I credit my watch time to Lynn Dyke. I monetized in August because of Lynn Dyke. I hit, I remember it was um, August, uh, August 20 something. It was nearing my birthday and I just received an email. Mind you, May, I was in the, I was below 2000 in the 1005, 1006 ranges. Around August 20 something, I received an email 
from uh, YouTube saying that uh, you have already qualified, you can go do your dang -a dang -as. you see? So that is how she helped me. That's what she thought I needed. Um, she helps others with their admin. For example, they've monetized. They don't know exactly what the next steps are to help them. She takes time out and she asks for nothing. She does not even tell you that she's helping you. Like, in my in my situation i had no idea that i had a lynn dyke out there um who's busy helping me uh to uh realize my my goals you see my lovely people so there are actually angels out there another one who has helped Dandom ledger Ndandom Ledger, I think it was uh, when Ndandom uh, Ledger, Ndandom Ledger, when, when, I think it was September, was it September? Sep yeah, I think it was September when she started her lives. When she started her lives, I started seeing that, oh, now she does lives. I think I started noticing her lives in September, then I went to her live and instantly as I'm there, I'm busy uh, just uh, commenting. Then I hear her say, uh, my lovely people, even Eleanor has a YouTube channel. Please check her out. And immediately my viewership just spiked. And I was like, God, these people just do that for free. <laughs> you know? Yes. So, um she helped me with my viewership that is how i started seeing the rents and cents flowing in linda gave me uh, my watch time and i got monetized the dome ledger helped me to um start uh picking up the breadcrumbs from the floor you know the cents Picking up the scents. That was Ndandom Ledger. I credit that part to Ndandom Ledger, my lovely people. So that being said, let's check the rents and scents as to how far and how, how far have I gotten from um, August to date. As you can see, my lovely people, uh, my growth is slow, but definitely um, it's going forward. It's like slowly but surely it is um, getting somewhere, however slow it might seem. Um, okay, when I opened in August, I only made 90 cents. And then in September, I made um, around $9. In October, I made around $7. And for November, I am hoping for at least $50. You know, I'm hoping for $50. Even though I'm trying to push myself because I'm, I'm, I'm hoping, I'm praying you know that i can get 1 million uh, overall channel views believe you me my lovely people i don't know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna jump up and kiss the heavens that's for sure okay my lovely people for now let's just say uh that's all i had for this segment there's a whole lot that we can talk about we can talk about uh, which countries are viewing me? We can talk about uh, which are the uh, proper times to upload, which I really don't believe in. For me, it really does not matter, seriously, because I've checked it. It does not make a difference, not on my channel, not currently anyway. Um, there's a whole lot of things that you can see from your dashboard that um, talks to how you can even um, grow your channel. YouTube is really trying to give you the tools so that you can try and make 
your channel a success you know but then unfortunately if you're starting out like me you know because me when i started all i had was this ugly ugly phone that was falling apart it was only this august on the 27th believe you me 2023 much as uh, my situation is not resolved but 2023 i've really seen god you know because much as i don't have income but god has sent people my way to help me in this way or that way because in august someone decided to give my son a small gig in their studio they they have a music studio so they decided to give him a paid gig and um he did a record with them and they gave him a little sum of money with that money he afforded me a phone that i am currently using it's not an iphone it's not a hawaii or a samsung or anything but then it is a new phone and it's beautiful and it it's just amazing i simply just could not believe it you know much as it's not like they gave him money that we can uh resolve all our issues you know uh, and buy groceries and do whatever we only afforded uh the phone and for me that was like god thank you and you know and since god knew that i was gonna sabotage that move he made my son keep it a secret and only come with a phone on my birthday without telling me that he's gonna get the phone because if he told me i was gonna ask him boy are you crazy we buying food <laughs> we buying food we're gonna eat good so guess my son knew that that's what i'm gonna say so he didn't tell me instead he just went on his own and he bought the phone so my lovely people that is where we are uh hopefully everything goes well and next time when we do uh this type of a review i'll be able to say you know what actually now i do have those one million views because for those one million views um i'm not even thinking about the engagement i just want to see the thing that says for this month you may you got one million views that's it you know much as it helps when it has engagement to it by engagement we're talking about the likes uh people who hit the subscribe and the notification button and the comments because all of those they help with uh monetization as well and even for youtube to recognize your channel and watching ads all of those things combined that is what gives you uh proper weighted sense that can uh quickly make you an income actually you know because it's not only about the views and uh the traffic that you're getting watching the ads that are put up it, everything works together those likes those subscriptions that notification button whenever it's hit um the comment section you know all those things they work together that is that is why uh they will keep on talking about the engagement of which my engagement currently is on 1.4% which is very very low cause on average on average uh most channels average around uh 4% you know so 1% is extremely low but then 
I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. I know that one day it will get there. Thank you, my lovely people. See you in another video.